We're all quite familiar with Singapore sights, but what about Singapore sounds? Well, to capture them, the National Archives of Singapore is calling on the public to contribute recordings. Now, these may include iconic sounds from the heartlands or even local accents and dialects, as well as festivals. It's the first time the National Archives is collecting audio snippets of present-day Singapore before they cease to exist. For more, we're joined by Maggie Yin. She's a specialist for audiovisual pres- preservation at the National Archives of Singapore. Maggie, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, tell us a bit more about why we're collecting audio recordings in a time that everything is about video, video and video. Yeah, so the idea for Soundscape SG um, started a few years ago. We wanted to capture the sounds of everyday life in Singapore um, that represent our unique sound heritage that may otherwise um, disappear as our society evolves and as uh, people's memories uh, diminish over time. So we want to uh, document these sounds and ensure that they continue uh, to live on uh, long after they are gone. Uh, So to your questions about how do sounds um, tell stories and the kind of significance they have, uh, given that we can video uh, record uh, most things. Um, So with a video recording, uh, we tend to focus our attention on visual images. Uh, We don't really pay much attention to the sounds. Um, So in Soundscape, um, the primary focus is the sounds of the environment in a specific location uh, that is back uh, that's mapped via a sound map. So we're actually looking at things in a different perspective. Uh, so sound maps have historical significance in that they will give uh, future generations an idea of what a place sounds like um, at a specific time. Uh, we have maps and drawings um, that tell us how people lived in the past. However, uh, we have no idea uh, what those societies um, sounded like. Mm. Maggie, we're looking at five areas that the National Archives is hoping to collect these audio recordings of. Can you elaborate on those five areas for us? Uh, Yes, of course. Um, So we are looking for people to capture sounds um, that are specific and unique uh, to Singapore. Um, So these are categorized into five distinct areas, and they are local accents and dialects, nature and wildlife, Uh, Sounds of the Heartlands, uh, Sounds at the Workplace, and Festivals and uh, Celebrations. So uh, people can um, actually contribute their sound recordings on our Soundscape uh, website um, at go.gov.sg slash soundscapesg. So so Maggie, the interesting thing is uh, you've already started to receive some entries from people. Uh, People have already Mm. started uh, sending them in. Uh, So we've picked out three. I think Dawn hasn't heard them yet. Maggie, you know which three we're going to play out. Uh, we're going to play them out now and you guys at home can also you know, go ahead and guess uh, what sounds, uh, where these sounds come from. Dawn doesn't know, she can guess at the end and Maggie, you can correct her if she gets it wrong. Let's, let's listen in. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So, so Don, the, the, the last one I think is quite going to be quite challenging. Uh, well, why don't you go ahead and tell us what yeah, all three the, of them are? Yes, I think the first one was a, was it Karanguni man? The Karanguni man, the rag and bone guy that comes yeah, that's around. Sort yeah, of that's correct. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Yeah. Ah, okay, and then the second one, of course, was was uh, you know the lion dance. But the third one, I really couldn't. I thought it was an MRT station. Actually, I thought it was like a platform. <laughs> Maggie, you want to let her in? Yeah, uh, that. Yeah, that's kind of a tricky one. Um, so that's actually, uh, that would be a sound that would be familiar to people working in an office environment. Uh, so that's the sound of uh, scanning documents. Oh, thanks, and Don, and Don and, hasn't uh, been working in the office, which is why oh. she, she had, she's forgotten what it sounds like to, to scan documents, Don. <laughs> Yeah, yes. but, but Maggie, tell us about how... Yes, you know, totally, how... <laughs> completely forgot. So where, where are these sound recordings? You know, once you guys have compiled all these sound recordings, um, we know eventually what they're going to be used for, but in the immediate future, are they going to be catalogued somewhere? 
How can people listen into them? Yeah, okay. The sound recordings that uh, we're going to collect on Soundscape SG, um, they will be made available on the National Archives um, Citizen Archivist uh, portal uh, after upload. Uh, so we will assess um, the suitability of the materials that are contributed um, before adding them um, to our collection. Uh, so materials that are added to NES collection uh, will be preserved for posterity and made available to members of the public um, for personal research, for academic work, uh, for exhibitions or for publications. Sound is such a wonderful thing. This is a fantastic initiative. Maggie, thank you very much for sharing that with us. We've been speaking with Maggie Yin, the specialist for audiovisual preservation at the National Archives of Singapore.